5.1 functions learning outcomes for today is use algebraic approach to find domain and range of a function for algebraic approach uh, this condition must be considered a let's say you have uh, the set function set function and we have a uh, fx must always greater or equal than 0 b for 1 over fx or any rational function for the denominator this condition fx cannot equals to 0 and lastly for c ln fx or log fx base a fx only except for greater than 0 so must accept only greater than 0 Okay, example, uh, for example below, find the domain and range for the following function by using algebraic approach. Okay, for example, linear function, fx equals to 8x plus 5 when x is real. So, let y equals to 8x plus 5. So, we, we change into x as a subject equals to y minus 5 over 8. So, from here, we can say that the domain is except all the real number for x, which is negative infinity infinity, and for range y, except all the values of y, which is real number. Okay, quadratic function by using a algebraic method or approach. Okay, let's say you have y equals to x squared minus 3x when x is real. So from here, this one already stated the domain. This is actually the domain. x is real. So when x is real, actually this is already the domain. Okay, what must you do first for algebraic approach? Change it a quadratic function into completing the square. Uh, expression so you get uh, x minus 3 over 2 squared minus 9 over 4 after that you try uh, make it uh, x minus 3 over 2 squared equals to y plus 9 over 4 and then you solve uh, this part you get x minus 3 over 2 equals to plus minus set y plus 9 over 4 after that, you put negative 3 over 2 on your right hand side. So you get x equal to plus minus square root y plus 9 over 4 plus 3 over 2. From here, we see that the domain is uh, negative infinity infinity but the range. So the range, I look at here. This is the third. So always greater equal than 0. So y plus 9 uh, greater equal than 0, you solve it, you get y greater equal than 9 uh, minus 9 over 4. From there, we get the domain. Domain is real, which is negative infinity infinity. And range for y, so we get from here, y greater equal than negative 9 over 4. We can write close negative 9 over 9 over 4 to infinity okay for cubic function fx equal to s cube uh, y is defined for all value of x and also x is defined for all values of y so we can say that the domain always real and the range always real negative infinity infinity Alright, for rational function, uh, we notice that gx does not exist when x equals to 4. Uh, we can see that from the denominator here, x minus 4 cannot be 0, x cannot be 4. Actually, this is the domain. Alright, so uh, after that, 
we change it as a subject x as a subject all right and then you get what x equals to 1 over y plus 4 so from here we see that y also is real and y cannot equals to 0 and this one we can write the domain the domain negative infinity 4 union 4 infinity or you can write x cannot equals to 4 or uh, for the range negative infinity 0 union 0 to infinity or you can write y cannot equals to 0 y equals to x over x squared minus 4 this is uh, a function that uh, difficult for us to sketch the graph so we have another method by using algebraic uh, approach we can see that uh, from the denominator yeah so we can see that the domain so x squared minus 4 cannot equals to 0 so x squared not equal to 4 x is plus minus 2 not equals to plus minus 2 so this is the domain all right so how about the range okay the range try to solve for x all right so x squared minus 4 you bring on the left hand side after that you expand and make it a quadratic equation uh, from here, you can get your A is Y, your B is negative 1, your C is negative 4Y, and you substitute into quadratic formula to find X. So just substitute all the values A, B, and C, and then you can see that uh, X equals to 1 plus minus square root 1 plus 16 Y squared over 2Y. Okay, from here we see that uh, 1 plus 16y squared always positive. This one is always positive. And then uh, for the bottom, 2y cannot equal to 0. y cannot equal to 0. From here we see that this is already the range of f. So therefore we can write the domain and range for each. So x can equals to plus minus 2 and the range y can equals to 0. Okay, set function fx equals to set x minus 9. So we notice that the set function only receives x minus 9, always greater or equal than 0. Always this condition always greater or equal than 0 and you solve it you get x greater or equal than 9 actually this one is already the domain after that let f x uh, is y so this is y so uh, by squaring both sides you get x squared equals to x minus 9 make it x as a subject y squared plus 9 we see that from here y is always real and from here the domain is x greater equal to 9 or 9 close to infinity and the range always real negative infinity to infinity Okay, next absolute value function. Let's say we have y equals to modulus 2x minus 1. We can see that y is defined for all values of x. And y can be uh, defined as two function 2x minus 1 for x greater equal than 1 over 2. And the other one is negative 2x minus 1, which is x less than 1 over 2. Okay, for x greater or equal than 1 over 2, so we take the function y equals to 2x minus 1 and then make it x as a subject 
y plus 1 over 2, and then we substitute this one, y plus 1, here, you substitute here, you will get y plus 1 over 2 is greater or equal than half, and then you solve it, you will get y greater or equal than 0. After that, for x less than half, so you take the function y equals to negative 2x minus 1, make it x as a subject, 1 minus y over 2, so you replace this one to this, and then you will get 1 minus y over 2 less than half, so what happens, you get y greater than 0. So how to write the range here? So this is all y greater equal than 0 or y greater than 0. So we just combine. So the range becomes y greater equal than 0. So the domain is negative infinity infinity, which is a real number. And then for the range, is close 0 to infinity. Or we can write y greater equal than 0. Okay, example 1, state the domain of the following functions, a and b. Okay, for a and b, uh, we just state the domain and no need to sketch the graph. We just use the condition that we stated before. Alright, fx equals to 5 over x squared minus 9. Okay, we see from here that x squared minus 9 cannot equal to 0, this one for denominator. Alright, so after that, we solve it. x squared minus 9 cannot equal to 0. x cannot take plus minus 3. So here we can write the domain f is x cannot equal to plus minus 3. And then, or you can write in interval form negative infinity to negative 3. Open union negative 3 to 3 open interval union and last one 3 to infinity. Alright, b fx equals to set 1 minus x over x plus 2. So here we have two conditions to solve this one. So we have set. So here set 1 minus x always greater or equal than 0. And for the denominator, x plus 2 cannot equal to 0. So, the first part, fx is defined when x plus 2 cannot equal to 0. So, x cannot equal to negative 2. And 1 minus x greater or equal than 0. So, you solve it, x less or equal than 1. So, this one, you draw a number line negative 2, 1, L cannot equal to 0, so cannot equal to 0, but the other value defined, and less equal to 1, less equal to 1, here, so from here, from here, we find the intersection between these two. So the intersection is from here to here. Intersection. So the domain is from negative infinity, negative 2, union, negative 2, comma 1, close. Alright, try this. Uh, find the domain f plus gx, f minus gx, fgx, uh, fx equals to 1 over x minus 1 and gx set x plus 1. This is for your homework.